Senate Bill 929 is a bill that would ban the use of cadmium in children's jewelry. Several years ago, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is back in 2006 when I was in the State Assembly, signed into law a bill that I had authored to ban lead in children's jewelry. Both lead and cadmium are toxic chemicals. They're carcinogens under the Prop 65 list. And by banning lead in children's jewelry, and many of the children's jewelry come from other countries around the world, a lot of it from China and other areas like that. When we banned lead in children's jewelry, what happened, and no one knew this at the time, they simply substituted, in many cases, the use of lead for cadmium. Cadmium is equally toxic. It is a problem to children. It's a problem to a lot of ages of people, causing potential cancer, a variety of types, um, also can cause developmental disabilities in young children, a subject I'm very uh, concerned about. So we're asking the governor here today to sign SB 929 to not allow this loophole to continue to allow cadmium, a toxic carcinogen, to be used as a substitute for lead. Now this bill is critically important to the health and safety of our youngest children. Because you've watched these kids, and I should know better than to be up here with a whole bunch of cute children. What do they do with jewelry lots of times? They end up sucking on it, tasting it, playing with it, and um, the, the exposure to potentially lead or cadmium is real, especially with our youngest children. I wanted to acknowledge some people here today that are at the press conference. Uh, first of all, the co-sponsors of uh, this legislation, the Center for Environmental Health, Anja Miller is representing them here today, and the AAUW, that's the American Association of University Women, represented by Charlotte Newhart today. Also with me, uh, Clean Water Action, Lori Chen, Consumers Union, Elisa Obashanian, and American Cancer Society is represented by Tim Gibbs. We are all here to urge Governor Schwarzenegger to sign SB 929 to protect California children. The science is clear. We don't have to do years of study to find out whether cadmium is dangerous or not. It has been known to show problems. It is on a list, many lists around the country of a very dangerous toxic chemical. We were all shocked to learn that foreign manufacturers are simply substituting it for lead and it's less expensive. That's why SB 929 is needed, to stop the loophole that was created in the state law. Given these budget restrictive times, banning cadmium and children's jewelry is something positive the state can do. Now one of you asked me a question, well how much more will this cost? You know, the state has a budget deficit. Well here's the great thing about this. Uh, several years ago when the ban in lead jewelry occurred, uh, DTSC, who was tasked with enforcing this by showing up unannounced at retailer stores, they take with them an x-ray gun that's on the table over there, and we're going to be testing jewelry in just a few minutes. That's already purchased and bought. People know how to operate it. They can just recalibrate that gun, and while they're testing for lead, test for cadmium at the same time. Then if the results indicate that there could be a level of lead and cadmium, they go to the lab to prove that. Uh, retailers do not want to read about their jewelry being sold in their store, found it um, positive for lead or cadmium. That's like the retailer's worst nightmare. And so we are going to be assisting them and we need their assistance to make sure that the jewelry that they're purchasing, particularly from around the world, who may not have the same environmental standards we have here in California, um, that what they're selling, their products, is safe for everyone. Before we go ahead and test some of this jewelry, uh, let me ask uh, Anja Miller from the Center for Environmental Health to just say a few words to you, and then the rest of us, after the test, we will be around and be glad to answer any questions. Anja? Thank you. For almost 15 years, the Center for Environmental Health has been protecting uh, people from dangerous chemicals in our products and in our food, air, and water. 
Products that families use every day are safer because of our work, including uh, items like water filters, toys, playground equipment, and many, many others. We are pleased and proud to stand here today with Senator Pavley as sponsors of SB 929, a bill that would protect kids from the toxic heavy metal cadmium in jewelry. Several years back, CEH started testing jewelry and found very high levels of lead, which is a, pow a powerful neurotoxin in children's jewelry. Jewelry, which as many of you with kids know, becomes a convenient thing for kids to stick in their mouths. We then worked with the Senator to ban lead in children's jewelry. As a result uh, of that law, when we go to test jewelry, it's very rare for us to actually find jewelry with lead in it. In fact, we're finding about a 95% compliance rate with that law, which is just incredible in terms of a compliance rate for any law. So today, we are here hoping to provide a similar solution to the problem of cadmium in children's jewelry. Uh, and so I have with me here a piece of jewelry with a, which the cupcake pendant has just fallen off. So this necklace, this cupcake pendant, contains 75% cadmium. That's just wrong. Cadmium shouldn't be in kids' jewelry, especially one that looks as yummy as this cupcake. Um, and the problem is that jewelry doesn't have to have cadmium in it. For example, this pendant, uh, which was purchased at the same store for the same price, is perfectly safe. It doesn't contain cadmium at all. Um, so it's really not necessary. We're excited that California has, is developing the Green Chemistry Initiative to deal with the problem of toxic chemicals and products in a comprehensive way. But it's not up and running yet. And it's gonna be years before they're able to address this issue. Meanwhile, kids are being exposed unnecessarily. The jewelry industry wants this too. They want the problem resolved now so it's not hanging over their heads for another two, three, four years. It's not fair that a few bad actors are able to get away with using the toxic metal in their jewelry to save just a few pennies. And that taints the reputation of the whole industry. And that's what we're talking about here. It's a question of children's health versus just a couple of pennies. In that equation, making SB 929 the law of the land is the right thing to do. So now I'd like to introduce Elisa Odebashian, who's the West Coast Director of Consumers Union, which is the nonprofit publisher of Consumer Reports. Good afternoon, I'm Elisa Odebashian, West Coast Director of Consumers Union. We publish Consumer Reports Magazine. Um, I want to thank uh, the Senator, <clears throat> pardon me, for authoring this important bill, uh, and I want to urge the Governor to sign it into law immediately. Cadmium is an extremely toxic metal and is often found in these in cheap jewelry that's manufactured often, it's manufactured in this country, but it's often also uh, manufactured in, in China and imported here. Um, and kids handle it, put it in their mouths, uh, exposing themselves to this heavy metal that's been linked to developmental problems, kidney disease, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, osteoporosis, and cancers. Um, especially disturbing is research that shows that kids tend to take up cadmium faster into their systems than adults do. The most recent issue of Consumer Reports Magazine, the October issue, um, we tested more than 30 products, children's and household products, for cadmium and lead, and we found unacceptable levels in all of those products. Um, and we have urged the Consumer Product Safety Commission for many years to establish limits for cadmium um, in products intended for children. Last year, the federal government did place limits on lead <coughs> in children's products, and both lead and cadmium in toys, but no such limit exists for cadmium in cheap children's jewelry. Cheap jewelry for children, I shouldn't say cheap children's jewelry. Uh, <laughs> I need, uh, Inez Tenenbaum, who's the chairman of the Consumer Product Safety uh, Commission, recently stated, the key message that I want parents to know is, we will act to protect young children, but 
take the metal jewelry away from children who will swallow, suck, or chew on it while our work continues. Do not allow young children to be given or to play with cheap metal jewelry, especially when they are unsupervised. So this is what the chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission is telling the public. Take away cheap jewelry that has cadmium in it from children immediately. Um, these sparkly colored baubles pose a really serious health risk to children. And Governor Schwarzenegger should use this opportunity to ban it immediately. It could take years for the Consumer Product Safety Commission to ban cadmium in, in children's jewelry. It could take years for the Green Initiative here to do so. It's time to ban it now. Thank you. Oh, and I'm supposed to introduce Lori Chen from Clean Water Action. Thank you. My name is Lori Chen. I work with Clean Water Action as a legislative coordinator. Clean Water Action is a national organization with 1.2 million members who care about these issues, 60,000 members in California. And we advocate stopping the problem at the source. The source is not letting your children have these, not having it made, and also goes back to where they're made. The workers are being exposed to high levels the environmental restrictions on waste are not the same as our country. It's all going into the river. It ends up in the food products that we get from these countries, whether it's China, Nepal, um, Vietnam. It's just a bigger problem than a little kid wanting a pretty bauble. Um, we ask that we join the states of Connecticut, Illinois, Minnesota, Washington, and the European Union in this ban. We ask the governor to support the goals of the Green Chemistry Initiative, but at this time, there is no fast track for these types of contaminants. It takes a long time for the green chemistry process to go through. In the meantime, there are young children getting toxic levels of cadmium in their system. So the quickest way is to sign SB 929 and leave a legacy protecting California's children from continued risk of cancer and neurologic deficit. Thank you. I want to thank the three speakers. And before we test some uh, children's jewelry, uh, let me also just share with you that uh, this measure had received bipartisan support as it went through the assembly uh, and the state senate. And I was thinking about the governor last week when he was in China. Just wonder if he's listening to this press conference. Perhaps he picked up some jewelry for some uh, young children that his family knows and he could rush right over here and he could test it along with us. Um, in the past, he has signed bills like this. He signed the lead ban in children's jewelry. He signed a bill of mine that uh, uh, banned the use of mercury in vaccines for young children. Last year he signed a bill that banned the use of lead in wheel weights, which is a major source of water pollution. And so I'm, I am concerned um, that he may delay on this only because we would wait for a green chemistry council. Well, this is not this is not a time to wait. Not only is it approved carcinogen, the science is in on this. It's indisputable. This is cost effective, easy to test while we're doing lead. Let's do cadmium, let's protect our children. And let's go ahead and go over here and see if we can find uh, any ju children's jewelry that uh, has exceeded the levels of lead or cadmium. And this is the official gun that DTSC would use when they go into retail stores. Thank you very much.